Hello everybody, how are you? Back again. And this video, I hope many of you will check this one out because I am back to turn you on to another fabulous, fantastic, wonderful rockin' band, power pop, Beatlesque, jangly guitars, you name it, this band is all about it. Now, I've never done a feature video on this band yet. Uh, you've seen my video about Wilkerson. You've seen two videos about Wilkerson. You've seen my video about the Grip Weeds and how much I love them for 2018. Uh, and I did recently a top 10 list of my favorite releases for 2018. Now this band was included in that list. However, I've neglected in the sense to give them their due and do a special one-off video just for them. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Shouldn't take too long. It will highlight all their albums, which is only three that I know of. There's only three official releases from this group, and boy, are they winners, every one of them, all three. Okay, so you probably see from the title of this video, the band is called Starbelly. Starbelly. They were formed in 1998 in the greater Baltimore area in Maryland, the United States of America. All right, Starbelly has been around, like I said, I think they formed right around that time too in 98. So they've been around about 20 years. Um, and unless you're really deep into like the kind of underground rock and roll and power pop, you probably have not heard of them. I'm sure perhaps people like Stephen Schnee and maybe Tim Allen have heard about Starbelly, but I can't be 100% about that. I'm almost 100% that Stephen has heard of them though. And basically there's four members of the band, the same four original members that have been with them right from the beginning. You have Dennis Shockett, you have Greg Schroeder, you have Brian Ewald, and Cliff Hillis. Okay? Now, when they formed in Maryland in 98, they got with a label back then called the Not Lame Record Company, which I think is one of the coolest <laughs> names for a record company on the planet. Not Lame, and guess what? This music is definitely not lame, folks. Okay, so in 1998, they released this album right here. And I only have one piece of vinyl to show you today, and that's going to come later. But I'm going to show you the CDs first. Their first album in 1998 on the not lame, there's a not lame label, is called Lemon Fresh. Lemon Fresh. And I'm going to do my best to not have any glare. Lemon Fresh. Here it is, get a good look at it. Okay, get a good look at the back. See all the lemons? <laughs> Easy to remember. Lemon Fresh came out in 1998, folks. And I have to tell you, this album knocked me out, blew me away. Folks, I, I can't express to you how great these songs are on this album, okay? If you like Wilkerson, if you like the Grip Weeds, I didn't steer you wrong there. I've told you about many other artists and bands that I love. I promise you, I will not steer you wrong this time. You've got to get into some Starbelly. Now this first album, Lemon Fresh, 1998, might be hard to find. It's, it's a collectible. It's, it's, it was in a limited run back in the day. I think there's been run reissue uh, since or something. But it's very hard to get, so you're going to have to really hunt for this. But boy, is it worth it, folks. A fabulous, fabulous piece of music. This, I think it was voted one of the best albums, one of the year's best in 1998. That's how great it was, okay? I'm not kidding. Star Belly, Lemon Fresh. Okay, band hangs together. A few more years go by. In 2002, on the same Not Lame label, they put out their second album. This one's called Every Day and Then Some. Do my best here with the glare. Every day and then some. Here's the back. Okay, there's the inside. Folks, when this one came out, I was blown away. Because you get a lot of people that... This is their favorite album of Starbelly's, Lemon Fresh. But for me, personally, Matt... When this came out in 2002, I like this one even better than the first one. That's how good this is. Any of you that are familiar with the band Big Star, who in their you know first initial run put out two albums, and um, when they put out their first one, everyone thought, which was called Number One Record, when they put out their second one, Big Star, it was called Radio City, and people said, how are they going to top the first one? 
and it ended up the second one, the sophomore, you know, no sophomore slump. The second one ended up being better than the first one. Well, on my book, that's what Star Billy did with these two albums. Fabulous. And then when they came out with this one, even better. Even better. This album is fantastic. Great lyrics, great music, great songs. Um, if you want to get a good description of what Star Belly is all about, think of uh, what I've read, that the way they're described, I've read in, in certain areas that they are like Sque the band Squeeze meeting Wilco. <laughs> and on top of all that, add some mel just melodic rock, layers of jangly guitars, lush four-part harmonies, hooks, hooks, hooks galore. This band nabs you grabs you like a 500 pound marlin out on the ocean and just pulls you in, brings you right in, hooks you right in. And I, I gotta say folks, it's, it's so true. Love this second one, much better than the first one, and I love the first one. They both, if this is a 9.9, .9, this is a 10.0, okay? They're fabulous. Now, you would think, oh, was that the end of Starbelly, Matt? No, many years went by, okay? Uh, I'd have to get more information or maybe if some of the band members see this and if you do see it Hey, Dennis Greg Brian and Cliff love you guys <laughs> big fan here up in New England um, I don't know what happened in the ensuing years I don't know if they stayed together a little bit maybe played out here or there Maybe they did some recording on the side. I don't know what they did. I honestly don't know All I know is a fan. I was just bummed when I got this in 2002 and then didn't hear about them for for many many years I got kind of sad, like one of my favorite unknown bands that, you know, I, I one of my favorite bands of all time, where are they? Why, what are they doing? I couldn't find out a lot of information about them. Well then, if you know, if you saw my top 10 list for 2018 a couple of videos back, they came in at number 7 with this album. In 2018, the same four original members came back with four. Alright, there it is there. Here's the back. It's on Tall Boy Records this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tall Boy Records. Not not lame. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry folks. Folks, this album just continues for me anyway, right where these two left off. You got Lemon Fresh, you got Every Day and, <clears throat> and then some. And you have four. Folks, fabulous. This one is fabulous. Brand new, made my top 10 for last year, and it's well deserved. These guys are wonderful. Beautiful music, folks. You've got to get this. Uh, please get this. Somebody out there get this. Out of all my viewers, please, somebody get this and write me a note and tell me what you think of it, please. Uh, I just would love to hear what you think of Star Belly 4. How these guys can go from 2002 till 2018 without a new piece of recorded music or an album and put out something this good which doesn't skip a beat from these guys right here all right they don't skip a beat the talent the singing the lush harmonies the hooks the great lyrics what they're singing about is beautiful melodic I, I don't know what else to say beautiful and I'm so happy I got this and as a bonus when I got four I ordered like a <clears throat> A deluxe package set or something. I forget exactly what it was called now. But when I did, I'm going to show you this. I got this. Look at this. Here's a CD. But this is even better. <laughs> I got this beautiful, beautiful piece of vinyl. Numbered. Star Belly 4. All the original members, and for me this is huge, signed it for me. Thank you. Thank you guys. What a nice touch, what a class act they are. The Star Belly guys signing the album for me. And uh, what I thought was cool about it is they all signed it in different colors. Okay, you got Dennis signed it in black ink here. Dennis Shockett. Okay, you got uh, Brian Ewald signed it in blue. You got, um, where is it, Cliff Hillis signed it in red. And Greg Schroeder signed it in green. I, I thought that was just a cool touch how they did that. Here's the back. Again, Tall Boy Records, Star Belly. And the inside, there's not too much to the inside, to be honest with you. Okay, you open up just a single sleeve, front and back. And then you get a cool, unique label. This side, too. 
and there's side one. And the vinyl just your standard uh, black vinyl. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Folks, great band. Fabulous. Please, somebody out there, I'm not going to keep this too much longer. I just want to say, I, I can't say enough about this band. You don't know what a year it's been for me. The joy this year has been, or last year I should say, but 2018 with new music from the Gripweeds, new music from Wilkerson, new music from another band I'm going to highlight one of these days called the Greenberry Woods, um, new music, Christmas music from the Monkees. Oh my goodness, there might, there's some other stuff too. But this one, folks, right up there. I mean, this would have been in my top two or three if it wasn't for me having Elvis and the Beatles on my list this, uh, for 2018. These guys would have been in the top three. Okay, they're that good. So I love these guys. They're fabulous. Check them out. Starbelly. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, hike. Let's go. <laughs> Get some Starbelly. They're fabulous. Please, I, I wouldn't steer you wrong, folks. You know me. Any of you that watched my channel for the last two years, and by the way, happy two-year anniversary to me. It was January of 2017 when I joined uh, YouTube and started uh, in this little journey here. So uh, and it's been a pleasurable one. So anyway, I don't want to keep this too much longer. I got another video I want to make for you. So I'm going to go do that. Starbelly 4. Do it now. Get it. Right back to me. Let me know what you think. Love you guys. Bless you. Take care. Get into some Starbelly. Do it today. Bye-bye.